This might be a hot take, and at the risk of being shredded in the comments, I have to be honest. There's been a clear shift in dress code requirements over the past decade or two, and while I'm all for the evolution of the game, I do think we should be more protective of something as simple as dressing just with a little bit of class. The traditional golf dress code has been around since the mid-50s when Arnie, Ben, Chi-Chi, and Sam led the transition from the Bobby Jones-style button-ups, ties, and vests. This revolution included polo-style shirts, khaki pants, cardigan sweaters, and stylish golf shoes. Look at pics of those guys and tell me they don't look cool. I dare you. Sure, it may seem stuffy to some, but to me, it's all about respecting the game and its history. In this case, the newer golfers, like Arnie and Ben, still kept their outfit choices classy, even though they were much different from the generation before them. But now we have the so-called modern dress code. This includes things like untucked shirts, no collars, joggers, tennis shoes, backwards hats, and athletic shorts. This isn't exactly an upgrade or even country club adjacent. It's a clear step down from the sharp looks that golfers had throughout the decades leading up to the 2000s. Golf is a game of etiquette and class, and wearing athletic attire is just not in line with that. And don't get me started with the women's golf attire, which seems to have thrown all the rules out the window. Now, I know some of you might be thinking, but what's the harm in wearing a t-shirt and shorts? It's more comfortable. Well, here's the thing. As we've seen with air travel, as the dress code relaxes, so do attitudes. And I, for one, enjoy getting dressed up to visit a golf course. Just like I enjoy getting dressed up for a wedding or a nice dinner out. If you want to dress like you're going to mow the lawn when you visit your local muni, then that's up to you and the policy of the golf course. But at the end of the day, it's still golf, and there's no such thing as overdressed. I blame the golf courses for relaxing their dress codes as well, not just the players. I get it. They want to attract a younger crowd and make the game seem more accessible. But at what cost? By ditching the traditional dress code, they're also losing the essence of the game, its elegance and sophistication. It's like if you brought me some of your grandmother's famous marinara sauce, which has been passed down for generations from our homeland in Italy. You probably wouldn't be too happy if I added ketchup to it, would you? When I step onto a golf course, I want to feel like I'm part of something special. I want to be surrounded by people who share the same passion and respect for the sport. And I'm sorry, but somebody in a tank top and sneakers just doesn't give off that vibe. I'm not saying that we should all go back to wearing tweed jackets and knickers on the golf course although I would prefer that over today's choices, but let's not throw away the dress code completely. It's a part of the game's identity and should be celebrated, not cast aside for the sake of being modern, cool, or comfortable. I am a firm believer in the traditional golf dress code. It's a way to pay homage to the sport and its history. And while change is inevitable, let's not lose sight of traditions that make golf such a special and timeless game. Thanks for watching. I'm Clint McCormick, resident golf professional here at golfspan.com.